So one of the questions I got was how for a new business to combine promotional content with uh, product oriented content within their email marketing. So um, it obviously depends on the nature of your business. And as always with uh, good marketing, you want to start with the customer that's in mind. So why is the customer actually buying your product? What is their lifestyle? How does your product or service fit into their lifestyle and how can you package it so that your marketing is speaking to that entire lifestyle as well as the role your product and service functions within there. So I'm going to give you two examples from different types of businesses. One is a e-commerce store that sells uh, coffee and tea, which I have open on screen here. And the second one is actually uh, my own business, which is a service oriented business. So first off, uh, with this uh, Waka coffee and tea, I have three examples to showcase how they sort of incorporate the promotional content in the context of more interesting sort of educational or lifestyle content. So they're primarily selling, well, coffee and tea um, to a demographic that skews a little bit uh, in mid-age, uh, more female, um, more of the, uh, I guess, uh, you can say like the Instagram crowd and, and the ones that are a bit um, more upper middle class. So with that in mind, um, we can take a look at this first email, which is around the world with Waka, uh, where they explore different regions of their teas, um, as well as coffees. And it's uh, really starting off with a very interesting angle um, from like a worldly travel perspective, from a um, interest in the origin of the product. So you can look here and uh, it talks about um, the journey to track and source the tea, um, I know nowadays sourcing is very important, especially for our target demographic here. It talks about the health benefits. And as you scroll through this email, you can see that the product is front and center, right? There's always this packaging with the product in the, in the design element. Um, but also as you get to end, um, after you read all about it, then voila, here is the actual product and a call to action to shop the product. So that's one easy way to sort of position your product in the context of something perhaps a bit more interesting um, or, you know, in a context of a problem your, your subscribers have um, that your product or service covers and solves. Or if it's not a problem, if it's more of a desire side, then getting them more engrossed into the world and into their, uh, into their lifestyle. Another example from, we'll go through these examples. They're all going to be from uh, the same brand so we can focus on here um, is this weekly brew email which um, talks around the concept of the lifestyle more so this is like more of the educational side where you have blogs and recipes um, you have like entertainment some very nice aesthetic shots of videos shared from the following um, the social following weekly news it's a very nice read that uh, fits really well into lifestyle. But as you go up here, you can also see that um, we have some calls to action to actually get a gift card and gift options. So more subtle in the incorporation, but uh, still very relevant. And then finally, here's an example of a starting leading with a recipe, right? So a use case for the product, but then, um, and it goes through a recipe and then it links obviously to a product as well in multiple cases, both text links as well as a big product uh, feature at the bottom here. So that's an example for a more physical product oriented uh, type of business. Now I wanted to just shift over real quick to um, one of my own businesses, which is Essence of Email, um, does email marketing services for e-commerce stores. And you can see the aesthetic of it is entirely different because the fact is we're selling expertise and we're selling a service rather than a product. Um, and therefore it's important to have really good focus on content, on deep expertise. And therefore you can see this email where um, not very, not a lot of, you know, different images and things going on, but we are focused on having a nice excerpt of a very long broad prose actually and then the call to action being continue reading because we ultimately want people to get to a page to continue reading and to be immersed within the content 
and then some supplementary elements uh, around the actual call to actions to schedule call up here as well as over here as well. So that's it for now. Well, such a really on the left.